Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we are live tonight, what is it, February 18th, I think, something like that? Probably. Tuesday? Maybe. So It definitely is. So, so cool. yeah, we're, we're, we're live, we got the regular crew, myself, Christian, and Anna. Ooh, hey. So, Good evening. Yeah. Evening to everyone out there in face- Facebook land. Yeah. And tonight we're here with our good friend, formerly known as Ironworks. Formerly known? Formally well, indeed. mine's kind of turned into a, like, robot mecha windmill thing. <laughs> yeah, so Ran- Randall... Up- Randall has seen G1 stuff, because I, I, uh, I only have one G1 thing here... Oh, did you put your G1 artworks in? I, I did not. Um, I have Hot House. So. Oh. Yeah, I got don't... Got the G1 in there. I don't... Do you have Ironworks? I do. I've got all the American Micromasters. Well, good good for you, but you do, do you have it in front of you, really, more importantly? Oh. No. So, so, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. I don't, I don't have Ironworks myself yet, so... Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I thought so. you got it. Sorry. No. Uh, so the the way I roll with these like micromasters and bases is that like I wait to buy them at like TF Expo or TF Con or something like that. Like get a good deal on it and and all that. So. Well, I'm going to show you that that was the wrong decision. Why is that? Because this is the best toy I've ever seen. Look at this there, thing. There we go. Love him so much. <laughs> so Ron wants to discuss how the Seacons are delayed again. In the most shocking announcement in the world, the third wave of the Seacons are delayed. After one and two got delayed, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Everything. I'm glad that it doesn't gets affect me. I, Anna, you are really missing out on these Seacons. I'm telling you, like, this set looks fantastic. I, so, I think that I've missed out by not ordering just Turtler. I should have ordered that one. Because I think it looks cool and has ankle tilt. Hold on, ankle tilt. No. They do not. Apparently, Anna knows for sure since she has not bought them. Or I liked it, though. They're pictures. They're definitely sculpted chunk legs. Yeah. That's hurtful. For sure, Z. I don't know. I mean, this looks like it's like. I, I, I'm really curious if it's going to be better than Unite Warriors Computron, which is like my bar for like the best combiner ever. Wow. It's really good. It's it's really really good, especially. It, it needed a lot of upgrades to be good. Well, once you put the upgrades on and all that, so it needed it needed a chest very badly. Yeah. I don't think I have a chest on mine, right? I just have hands and feet on my Computron. I think. Why would you guys know? I know. The Transform Dreamwave chest made me rebuy Unite Warriors Computron. See, I sold I... it because I like the Hasbro one better. Yeah. And now I like them both a lot. Oh, I definitely don't like the Hasbro one better. I definitely own the Hasbro like one. I was either. like, why do I own this? But then I got the Unite Warriors, and I was like, this is correct. Yeah, I, I really like the Unite Warriors one. But so, but we're not doing a review of Unite, Unite Warriors yeah, so or the Seacons. We're doing... any Anything that gets imported to Pulse from Japan is a month late. We've just learned that now. It's not a big deal. Right. So, yeah, they put out happens more Star Convoys. It happened with Star Convoy. Oh, but yeah, they did put out more Star Convoys. You're right. If you need a Star Convoy, go get them. Yeah, that's what Is I did. Is it still up? I think, I think so. Up. It was it was like a few yeah. days ago when I bought it, so I don't know. What I, do you think of it? Uh, I have not actually taken it out of the box yet, so. Okay. You have no opinion. Understood. Maybe we should talk about that one week. We Just could if you want to do if you want to do a review. I know uh, Peter and uh, Paul both have have Star Gone Boy as well. So 
Because I honestly and like Christian, I actually well, you really have it too. Sorry. Do like that mold. Yeah. I really do like that mold. We did find out that Christian threw out the stickers. <laughs> we did find that out. That had to be slightly traumatizing to find out. Can I, can you put the Star Slightly. Convoy stickers on the uh, new uh, Earthrise Optimus trailer? What? The, there's a out of all these people are complaining about the like Earthrise Optimus trailer, so I'm like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I've heard there's something wrong with the trailer. So we're here today to talk about this guy, right? Ironworks. About Ironworks. Yeah. So I've got him in proto windmill mode here. Because he's supposed to have a little radar dish that's also a windmill that's right here. He doesn't have it. Hopefully somebody will make it. Dr. Wu. Somebody. Like, there's like a thousand siege upgrade kits. You know that, like, that Matrix Workshop or somebody's going to, like, throw together a Matrix Workshop, that's fine. It's going to get made. Windmill right here. Boom. I think it actually didn't. Didn't somebody put up pre-orders for a windmill piece like the day the figure got announced? On Shapeways, yes. Yeah, I thought so. That was a uh, Trent Troop store. Uh, yeah, I thought outside. so. Dude, Trent really needs to like partner with somebody that can do like injection molding, so that he doesn't have to sell his stuff with the like the crap Shapeways stuff. Like the plastic on Shapeways is just complete garbage. Yeah, I guess yes, his, his designs are really are cool. Incredible. Right. Yeah. They're really oh, good. Yeah. We all agree. We all like his designs. They're great. <laughs> so. Just, you guys you do know. not like Shapeways plastic. I am okay with Shapeways plastic. But I, I mean, it's fine if you like plastic, plastic that breaks. Like, I mean, that's it's true. totally cool. I don't know. My little boss has been good for years now. But, you know. Lucas, I made a Shapeways order yesterday. So, we'll see. So. Yeah. First one in about three years. Yeah, let, let me like, know when it breaks. Maybe it'll break on the uh, way to you. So Ron is trying to actually talk about this figure, so I think we All should right. we should help with that. Yeah. Ron mentioned fine, so, fine. so so I a lot of cool creations with multiples, and I agree. Like, there's almost a slight temptation to get multiples just because I don't like the way the base looks by itself. And I do think this is, like, really fun to play with. Obviously, I've enjoyed owning this thing because I made this horrible monstrosity. So I, I put it into the official configuration uh, <laughs> per the instructions, uh, which is, like, the little base. But I also brought in Hot House. So I'm showing this for Christian so that you can actually see kind of, like, the size difference. So... Um, it's definitely smaller than the G1 bases, but it's not, it's not horribly so. Um, and considering that the G1 bases are just, you know, like really nothing. Um, like the fact that this can be made into a thousand different things, like is much cooler. So I thought you want to do two things. I really thought that you said you did not have ironworks, but I think you meant you didn't have G1 ironworks. That's yes. what I mean. Sorry, I sorry. That. I don't have G1 iron. That's what I meant. I, for comparison's sake, I brought in another base of similar size just to kind of show what. For the, for the viewers, I remember I can't see Lucas's other camera. Right. I'm bringing yeah, it I, in in front of me so that you can see it, Christian. So I, I see it now. But you brought it in. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Are you, did you? Are you? Is a surprise? Randall mentioned that three Ironworks battleship mode that a fan posted the other day, and that Whoa. thing is really cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really neat, like, how they got it to come out. To, like, it's not exactly a battleship, but I honestly feel like it's more of a battleship than Seed Shockwave as a spaceship. So it's actually pretty cool. I was into it. I actually saw the other day that somebody made a, um, like a massive combiner out of, uh, was it the Siege or Earthrise, um, Starscream. So like using that as the middle, but like, you know, cause they have so many five million oh, yeah, reports and all that. And it, it works really well. I actually kind of like it better than the, you know, the combiner for whatever the, the Power of the Primes Starscream Combiner, but anyway. So I'm going to start this focused conversation 
by making a controversial statement because that's my job. I'm going to say that I feel like these are the Transformers building sets that we've always needed. Like, I feel like these are more interesting and more cool than Build to Roll or Creo or any of that stuff that tries to, you know, be Lego. Because this is actually like, it's building and customizing and putting it together and making your own stuff, but it's in a very Transformers way. It's not trying to be Lego or trying to be Connects or trying to be anything else. It's trying to be Transformers. But this is so much fun to play with and recustomize. Like, I really enjoy making monstrosities like this and spaceships and bases and everything else. It's a very Transformers way of having a, a building kit thingy. Controversial statement complete. Can I append to your controversial statement? You can. I think that's why BotBots works, too. Because it's not trying to be Shopkins. It's doing Shopkins in a Transformers way. Yeah. I mean, is it really that, like, controversial, though? It's like, oh, Creo's not that great. This is better. Like, that's... <laughs> I don't know. No, also, I think it is. So sorry the one Build to Rule fanboy out there. Right, right. <laughs> hey, I have a Build to Rule set. <laughs> I'm it's sad. fantastic. <laughs> So this is Ironworks in his actual bot mode. I've got him here since none of us had him just there to start. Yeah, and he's cool. He's, William is a bot. He's got a cool little face. He's got a nice hook hand. He's got some guns. He's an okay. imposing fella. It's a it's a pretty yeah. decent sized deluxe figure too. Like it's not it's not small. It's not uh, clip jumper. Yep, yeah, here he is next to Iron Tread, who was the other part of Ironworks from G One. So remember, Ironworks was the station and the dude, and now Ironworks is the station, and Iron Tread is the dude. I, you can see yeah. he's, he's appropriately sized, I think, for, for that purpose. Yeah, to be the, the little guy in the base. I think it works. Yeah, so, I like, my plan of making, like, a building set out of these, you would have to buy so many. I think you could, or, you know, we'll get several more of these, I think. We will. We will. I I hope that, honestly, just after playing with this thing and enjoying it, I hope they do the same thing they did with the Siege ones and repaint everyone once so oh, that I can have an excuse to have two of this. I would assume they will. Like, I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, pieces of this look like you could probably use it for Grease Pit. Uh, Airwave and Hot House could probably team up somehow. I mean, the, the cool thing about this, I hadn't really noticed until I just started thinking about it, but this leg piece, the leg pieces are fairly generic. I mean, if you wanted to swap, the, swap, swap these onto a different kind of tower or body piece and then some different arms, you absolutely could. And there's nothing that screams, you know, crane or construction crew out, out of these legs. No, not exactly. I think you could use them for whatever. Uh, and they have if there's, them. If there's a couple molds, they could probably remix them. Air they have built into them the parts of the base, so they would be good as a baseline, haha, because they are literally, you know, part of the floor yep. of the set, so you could reuse them time and time again. Um, er Eric in the chat brought up uh, brought up that he thinks that these figures will be hard to find complete, like in ten to fifteen years. Just because there's so many, you know, small parts and whatnot that go with them. Do you think that that is going to be the case? That, like, like us, where, you know, if we get, like, a bunch of these and then you make a bunch of crazy bases, do you think that we'll end up, you know, kind of losing track of, or a lot of people will lose track of the, uh, of the core figure? I don't think they'll be hard to find complete in the um, collector's market, like in the I'm charging the appropriate markup style of people so on our Facebook boards and everything. I do think they'll be hard to find and complete in the like yard sale, flea market, eBay type area where you're, you know, you're basically looking at rejected kids toys. I think those will be hard to find and will be hard to find complete just like the headmasters from this generation are eventually going to get hard to find complete for cheap. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily know it's ever going to get to the point like where the G1 where the <coughs> headmaster is like $100 to, you know, to find a complete one just because this is aimed more at collectors than, you know, so... Like there's still there still will be kids and whatnot buying these, but it's it's not quite the same as as what it was. But and people just aren't surprised by toy value like they used to be. Like when we were when you and I, Lucas, were first getting to be teenagers, was when people were first like really starting to talk about toy value as this big thing as the internet was out and people were starting to realize Transformers were gaining value, like the old Star Wars toys did. And this was getting to be this thing where toys were collectibles. And I feel like since that mentality is set in, nothing is nearly as collectible because more people try to collect it. Anyway, though, that's like a but, global... But I actually think at the same time, um, for whatever reason, like Combiner Wars and, and on are like actually <sighs> pretty valuable. So, I mean, it, it'll be hard to say like what, you know, Siege is going to do. But like, I think the fact that like they're making all these lines trilogies and like, there's a lot of like new characters and whatnot in each line. I think that like, it's really kind of like helped the value out of, out of Transformers. And I, I feel like in general, Transformers hold their value better than, than other lines like Star Wars or whatever, but um, in general. yeah, in, in, in general, but so. Yeah, I think so. So getting to this guy, um, as Christian said, he is a neat looking figure, like just by baseline. Like when you look at him, you go, ooh, that's cool. When you actually mess with him, there are some, like he's almost as articulated as the rest of the Earthrise slash Siege generation of Deluxes. Like, you know, he only has one, he has one hand type thing, his hook hand that is swivelable and the other one is a molded hand that I really don't like um, that doesn't swivel or anything and is you know the same piece as the rest of the arm the ankle tilt is there and it's okay the legs move fine the arms move fine and the waist is not really a swivelable waist it's a pseudo swivel waist because it's actually the hinge that this back piece is on is giving me limited waist swivel, but it's not what we would call a traditional waist swivel. And mine has already gotten really loose where he just flops back and forth all the time now. You know, it does a lot for a non-traditional waist swivel. I mean, it, it does, does though. the thing. Yeah, it works. Well, I think it's interesting, like, in Siege, I think everything had waist swivel pretty much, right? From, like, Deluxe Up... But but it, it seems like that for Earthrise, they've kind of went back. Like, Starscream doesn't have waist swivel. Uh, the Optimus is is not, like, 100%. Like, it's it's still pretty decent. But And so, like, I'm just curious if now they're kind of like, ah, like, do we, we don't necessarily need it to be 100%. Because, you know, that way, if, if we put in, like, these crazy waist swivels, it's going to be better than Masterpiece. So... <laughs> Oh my god, we are going to have such a controversial show when you finally get to review that Prime, because you were going to say so many ridiculous things no, about it. No, I'm not going to go that overboard. Alright, um, alright, we'll see. Mine did actually come with a few issues. As you can see here, it looks like my yellow paint needed another pass. I'm cool with it because it kind of looks weathered in like a nice way, as opposed to a space mud way, so I'm good with it. So Lucas and I talked about that when I first yeah. saw his figure, and I think it's either intentional or the paint they used just wasn't that good, because his looks like it needed another pass, and mine looks like it needed another pass, and so does yours. Well, yellow is always, always like us, that. Right. All of us have done customizing. We all know that yellow is difficult. Right. So, yeah. And this, this uh, hole on his hand hand. Uh, mine was really super tight. I think I need to put a Dremel in there and, and widen it just a little bit because I couldn't get it to go over any pegs. Mine is even more paint covered to where it's not even like a proper round hole anymore. Oh, wow. Hmm. So I did notice that when you take him apart, 
like each of the um, little ramp pieces connects with these joining joints, right? Kind of like Zach's from back in the day. They clip together. And um, the, whoops, the hand arm is actually made where it has a connector joint molded into the arm. With the paint, mine will not clip on. Like, this will not clip into this. I cannot push oh, that j- hard j- enough. Just push it. Just push it harder and it'll be fine. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Because the paint makes it harder to do. And, like, is that something Jeez. I should complain about? Right. It's not going on there without damaging your paint. Yeah, mine, so mine went on fine, but... Oh, I got one side to do it better than the other. I don't know if that means anything. Well, that's good. I couldn't get this side to do it, but this side went on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that means anything at all. I've had no luck. Yeah. I try to connect it to the legs and everything else, and it just didn't go, and I'm not too worried about it. I mean, um, it definitely takes force to do it, but... Right, and I got into you, force in my fingers. You do get this extra ramp piece. I know it's not extra, but if you take it off of the robot mode, nothing happens to him. So you get an extra ramp piece that you can use in connecting bases. Like, this can connect to Omega. I think it connects to the Titans bases. And, of course, it'll connect to any more modulators that you want to have. So, yay, extra ramp. Yeah, it's nice. And it's funny because I personally, when this line was announced, I was like, ooh, those designs are pretty cool. I'm excited for some of them, specifically Cliff Jumper, which I was super excited for and I'm happy with. Um, I'm a little excited for Hoist. I haven't got them yet. But the thing that I was, like, scoffing at was, man, all these people are going to be buying all these ramp pieces and it's going to be like this weird ramp economy, and this is ridiculous. I'll never get into that. And like playing with him today, one of the first things I thought was, man, if I just had one more ramp, <laughs> I could make a much better yep. mode for this. Yeah, <laughs> and, charge me for my three today. And and, and all sound barriers coming. All, all of a sudden, Anna's going to start be going like, hey, you got a sound barrier? Need a sound barrier here? Going to be. I'm going to be walking around. Stealing people's back pieces off <laughs> their um, off their ironwork. Gotta so have the ramps. ramps. So, do you think that uh, non F is going to do ramps too? So, I he's, do. he's supposed to be they doing should. track pieces, um, which has been delayed because I guess the color that I guess he was planning on doing it in, I guess the manufacturer quit making it or something, and so he's had some. Okay some uh some problems with that but uh i i mean you would think that he would pump out a bunch of ramps too because that would be something i, I imagine easy. so yeah so can find him i'm sure a lot of people make them you can find them on shapeways i figure to break your ramps every time you use them yeah, can you imagine the force required to plug the it force in? Force it would take. Just break <laughs> it's like every time. you just <laughs> just duct tape it. <clears throat> so I I didn't really play with the official base modes at all, or the unofficial. Um, what is it? The windmill, um, the windmill mode. I didn't actually play with those. What do you guys think of those? Do you think they're pretty good? Do you think they're pretty playable? Do you think they make good bases? Mm-hmm. What do you think? The, the windmill mode is a bit unstable. It relies on the ramps forming uh, an open cube. It's going to connect three of the ramps together and it forms the base. And so because of that, it's a little unstable, but it would be fine if you just wanted to put it up in a display. The main base mode is really quite good. Yep. Yeah, my, mine Actually, is no longer okay. in official base mode, but... Oh, that's fine. We don't need to put them back in a base mode. I think people get the idea, because I, I felt that the amount of base square footage I needed to really play with my MicroMasters, I know it sounds really weird and overly thoughtful, um, was just too... It was too little. Like, I felt like a single ironworks did not make a, like, fun area for my little micromasters to run around on, but two would make a good area. So like if I had two of them to connect together at the um, ramps, 
then I think it could be fun. Like, I think there's enough room for them to, like, drive around and transform and hang out and make dinner or whatever robots do. Um, I just don't really think there's quite enough room on a single one, which is, as you were showing with the G1 stuff, is a little bit bigger. The G1 stuff's a little bit bigger, and the MicroMasters right. themselves were a little bit smaller. So I feel like you've got more real estate for them to play on. And it was like the bases were still small, but they were like just big enough. Does that make yeah. sense? Like, I'm being yeah. nitpicky. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, from an actual, like, if you want to build a cool, like, scene using these guys, you're going to need multiples. Or if you're a kid wanting to actually play with it, you might want multiples. Type of deal. Yeah. There, there is nothing okay. wrong with multiples, Anna. Oh, there is. Multiples <laughs> is terrible. Ha nature. I'm sure Hasbro will highly encourage everyone to buy multiples. <laughs> so you know how a lot of the weaponizers went on pretty deep clearance from Siege. It's true. And I don't care because I didn't really like their you know, broken apart weapon modes. If these guys went on clearance, if like modulators go on clearance, I might grab a couple extras. Yeah, could you imagine this guy being 10 bucks in six months, like six gun is right now? Yep. So the windmill so mode, we'll is it like this, Christian? Yeah, the scoop goes down because it's the platform from the original. How do I... It goes, like, perpendicular to the rest of the tower. No, you had it the right way up. You just needed to extend it. Yeah. So I have it like this, but then how do I... Oh, just, just like this, you yeah, mean? Like, oh, okay. No, like straight out, like a T. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Because that's where the MicroMaster can stand. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, MicroMaster okay. stands in the scoop. That's cool. Yeah, the original Ironworks has that. So did you guys want to cover the, um, the Siege MicroMaster or the... Earthrise MicroMasters, or do you not want to fit them in tonight? It's up to you guys, because I will not be buying them. So I will have no opinion on them. Luke, do you have them? Uh, yeah, no, I have them right here. They're in. You can't see them, though, Christian, but here, here we go. Here's two of them. Yep. Big Daddy. The Card Eaters. Oh, there we go. See, there's both modes. Quick review. I, I like them a lot. They need elbows because their arms are so long that you can't do their waist articulation with them. As long as you can with <laughs> that big daddy. With trip up, you can't do it. Like it's it's clashes together. Oh, poor guys. That said, I'm just sentimentally attached to the hot rod patrol, so I definitely need greaser and hubs as soon as possible. Yeah. I saw those in stores. I just passed them on because I'm not a MicroMasters person. So the new MicroMasters... Those are the cooler ones. Um, I, I was going to say, the new MicroMasters oh, are actually, like, the joints are tighter than the ones joints from Siege. At least the ones I have. Um, and so, like, that was my biggest complaint with the older ones is I just thought that they would... They were way too floppy. Um, whereas these actually seem like that they're pretty solid. It seems like they've got a little bit more paint dedicated to them, too. Or at least yeah. the paint they have is used well. This is Bomb Shock and Growl. They're the military patrol. Yes, military patrol. Yeah, I almost bought oh. those, too. Because they look all right. Yeah, they're pretty good. Growl has a problem standing up because he has this cannon. I'm sure if you didn't have it posed forward, he could probably stand better. But I had mine posed like that because he's heavy. Yeah. That is the one tough thing, like, because I know um, can't, a couple of the other, uh, the Siege ones actually had, like, little bits on the bottom that extended out um, that kind of helped them to stand. Yeah, and Bomb Shock has these extendable heels right here. Yeah. Heel yeah. Bits. And so I'm not sure why Growl doesn't. He's got the right feet shape, and I mean, they're cavernous. You could put one in there, but they didn't. Does anybody really pose these MicroMaster duders though? Hard to do. Yeah. Articulation. And that's the whole reason I don't like them. It's because I feel like they're no more fun to pose than the G1 ones are. 
I like them because I like MicroMasters, and I'm right. kind of in it. I'm trying to get. Basically, my original classics goal was to get one of every character. Right, of course. And no, no one's done a classics bomb shock before, so here he is. Um, but yeah, they're not especially great toys. They are good display pieces. They're, they're they night they round out scenes and displays very nicely. As long as you don't expect them to pose. As long as you don't expect them to pose. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fun just to have them, just to have new updated versions again, like you said, for classics. And you, you don't have to worry about tracking down good G1 versions. You can just get these new updated ones. But, yeah, I, I agree that, um, like, the thing is, is with these MicroMaster bases, it's kind of like the next, like, generation of MicroMasters, right? Like, you could do a lot with them. It's not just, like the simple base that they had from G1, right? Whereas, like, I feel like that the MicroMasters themselves, like, feel almost too much like the G1 to where, like, I, I, I mean, I don't know, like, that they could do anything more with them uh, than what they're doing right now, but, like, it just, it just feels like that they're almost too similar uh, to the old stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just probably not a lot more they could do without the risk of them, you know, breaking apart all the time and being, you know, choke factors. So they're, they're probably the best that they can be. And, and now that they're doing paint a little bit better, not that you know, any of the siege ones were particularly bad. It's just that these four look better. Yeah. Like they, they look, really this do. is from the, uh, this is iron shred again. He's from the 10 pack and the 10 pack. That was the target exclusive had really good paint across the board. And these guys, uh, the new the new Earthrise ones, kind of continue that trend. Yeah, I agree with that. They look better. I, I still don't want them, but they look better. It's okay not to want them. I still want to complete the patrols. Um, please. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah, I think you kind of nice. hit it, it on the head that you know. I, I'm really kind of. I, I'm getting these because I want new versions and I want, if we're getting new versions, I want to actually be able to complete the old team. So it'd be incredibly frustrating to, you know, do all these MicroMasters, but not actually like do all of them. I think it is far less stressful to collect these being that they're on shelves right now and easy to get a hold of than to track down all the old ones. So it's a nice alternative. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. <laughs> Christian is fully to communicate there. with his cat. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what she's looking at. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, I'm just, like, waiting as, like, somehow, like, something horrible happens to Christian over here. Like, you just see you in the do bottom corner where you're just... You're just like your cat's looking up, and you're like looking up over your shoulder, like "Oh no!" Like is like a dinosaur. No, comes not this time, unfortunately. Takes off so, your head. Philosophical question about MicroMasters, real quick. If you could have complete teams, but it meant you would have fewer teams, it's so like you get a complete hot rod patrol, but you get no military patrol. What would you do it? Would you make that change? I just think we need to switch to tapes, personally. I think we, we need all tapes. Switch to tapes? Yeah. Well, that's we, true, too. We, we just all need tapes. Screw I don't the think tapes I would rather. I don't think tapes need to take up MicroMaster slots. I... I I, I would say I would finish, finish, finish your team, your team personally, personally, but I don't actually care. So that would be my, my sentiment, though. Like, I would prefer... Um, I would prefer either to have good versions of fewer characters than more characters, and I think that maps on to the idea of fewer teams by complete teams. Christian versus cat senses. There's still something happening here. I'm not really sure what's going on. 
Well, there's there's heavy rumors of a four pack of tapes, right, from the select stuff. Yes, that's, that's the rumor. Yeah. So it, maybe if at least house that. Is, if Hot House is real, then presumably they'll make Hot House the MicroMaster, which is based on Tailwind, who's another member of the Airstrike Patrol, who hasn't been made yet. So may, maybe they're gonna come back, to, ma'am. <laughs> she's hunting something that I can't see so that's uh, a little bit disturbing (laughs) there you go So we we actually have a a fourth cast member tonight so it's your cat that's Roxy they are a cat apparently I was a robot for a bit you were you were. You so. were. We, and we it's just so natural anymore. for you guys at this point. You're just like, sometimes Anna just makes noises instead of talking. We can't tell yeah. the difference. Yeah. Oh, episode, that's, a, so. that's a good... So Jacob in the chat has a good question. How are we liking hey, Ironworks compared to the weaponizers? Slightly Ooh. better. Slightly better. Yeah. I, I would say the same thing. I think one of the things, like, I kind of like the chunkier robots anyway, so, like, I liked Brunt better and whatnot, and so I, I think that the fact that this guy's chunky and you can make him into, I mean, not that you couldn't make the other things in different configurations and whatnot, but, um, you know, I don't know. I kind of like the playability with the, the MicroMasters. I never, like, with the weaponizers, did you guys ever like put them on your other figures? Because I never ended no. up doing that. So that was no, me neither. That that's one part of the compatibility that I'm completely missing out on, though, with these toys, is that I'm just not using them as add-ons for my other figures. Like they're not armor, they're not weapons. They're either they're robot modes, they're alt modes, or horrific mecha bird creatures. Like, they are, I don't combine them with my other, um, I don't break them up into armor. I will combine them with each other and make weird monstrosities, but I'm not going to break them up into armor. And because the, um, weaponizers, I didn't like their alt modes. Like, I thought all of their alt modes were compromised. Like, it was, like, vague car, vague tank thing, vague spaceship. Whereas this guy has a solid but small base mode. And an amazing battle mech mode, and a somewhat serviceable windmill mode. Um, I just feel like I like it better. Like this is more fun to play with. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. So yeah, like Jacob saying about that, he combined three brunts with each other and cog and and all that. Oh, so geez. like, I think that like if I would have gotten more weaponizers. Uh, if I would have found a bunch on deep clearance, like I, I probably would have had more fun with it, you know, just because I would have done that. But like somehow my brain, like, I, like I need to keep him in his character mode somehow <clears throat> rather and than I think you combined apart. all the power dashers together, right? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. My, my weaponizers are a mess over there on the other shelf. Like they are all in weird modes. Like I had him in at the beginning of the show. Like they're all like bird creatures and max and statue creatures. I, I don't know. Do I like iron marks more than I like any of the power dashers? About the same. About the same. Yeah, the regular weaponizers were fine. The power dashers were better. This is probably the same as power dashers. I don't know. Power dashers had good paint. That's why I like them more. Yeah. Paint, paint, paint is paint always too. paint is always good. Yeah, it is. Except in this case where I complained about paint earlier. Yeah, it, it looks like it was done wrong. But it looks okay in the end for it. Yeah. I mean, if he's a construction building, rig, whatever, if he can be a little bit weathered. And it, it looks better than Space Mud. It does right. look better than Space Mud. We only have one figure with Space Mud in this wave, right? Just Hoist? Two? Well, Hoist and... um, Astro Train, because... Oh, Astro Train, yeah. 
So yeah, Hoist has it, and I'm not a fan. I don't. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Like it's not as bad on Hoist as it is on Astro Train. Like Hoist is only. It's like on the front. So. Spoilers! We're doing him next week. Oh, sorry. Apologize, Christian. Probably, depending on the postal service. J- just because, just because some of us are crazy and decide to hunt down like the entire wave already. I think you know. I have, I have Voyagers coming on the first. Everybody else, I got. It's good that you. There's can wait. a lot of hunting in this town. <laughs> Patience is magic. So. Yeah, so I guess, is he a recommend from all of us? I feel like we've oh, all, yeah. I feel like he's a recommend from me for different reasons that he's a recommended, that he's recommended for any rational person. Because I think he's an amazing building set that you can make monstrosities out of. Whereas the rest of you like him as a transformer. Still counts. <laughs> it does count. No, I really like it. I, I think this mode is okay. I have a lot of robot toys that look like this already in my room. I don't have anything else that looks like that creature I had earlier, so that's how he'll be on display. <laughs> Looks like a battle owl. Yeah, I know it was kind of bird-like, but it had asymmetrical legs, so it was kind of weird. I like it. <laughs> and a monster. <laughs> they are. They. I enjoy it. It's fun. My Transformers display needs weird crap in it. It just has all these, like, seamy, normal-looking robots. It needs weird stuff. Good. It needs body yeah. more, as Peter toys. said earlier. Enjoy your toys. They're your toys. That's right. That's right. That's the way to do it. So, yeah, yeah I recommend universally. I, I was going to say, so Earthrise is, for those that don't know, is showing up at Target. Um, so I don't think it's actually shown up anywhere else other than I think some of the online stores are getting them in now. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're trying to hunt locally, don't go to Walmart, at least not right now. So probably here in a couple weeks, Walmart will have everything and then Target won't because they'll be sold out of all their stuff. But They'll be shopped by Uzzes, the Uzzes of the world. So. Yeah. But, I but actually yeah. haven't bought any Earthrise in a store yet. Well, you haven't. Certain other people no, haven't. No, you bought it to... for me. <laughs> right. right. <clears throat> Don't rely on other people to do your bidding. Exactly. That's Just, right. That's just right. Just because some of us are going to like multiple targets like every day for the last two weeks. You found two of mine and Christian found one of mine, so it all worked out for me. <laughs> yep. And shout out to Tony for uh, locating the star scream. So, oh yeah, nice I can tell you a star scream one. for that reason. Yep. And so. I almost had a grapple, but I decided to be an adult. And I get it. I just I have other grapple. I almost had other grapples, but I only have one. I cannot quite reach him from here, but he's over there. I think I only have one. I only have one other one. I mean, I have the uh, old generations one. Yep. So, but yeah, because I I sold the masterpiece, which actually it might have been one of my favorite masterpieces. Like that was a really good figure. Yeah, we'll grapple. talk about grapple when we get grapple. So anyway, well, all right. Well, <clears throat> um, do we have anything else to um, to cover? So, um. Yeah. We even talked about the MicroMasters for four seconds each. Yeah. I mean, the MicroMasters, like, they're better than the Siege ones, so I would recommend them just based on that. But so I would not recommend them, because they're not very good. But, you know. They're nice fiddle toys. Yeah. Get them. I suppose. Get them. <laughs> to- These blue ones are good. Tony, Tony is wondering why, like, if we have a pre-order with Pulse, why wouldn't we get it first instead of Target getting it first? I, I think know. We, we all wonder that because, like, I, I know that uh, Scotty on Twitter was complaining because, like, he just, like, con- con- continually cancels the uh, his Hasbro Pulse orders. But That's what I'm doing, too. 
I don't know. I don't mind it. Like, I like having a backup. Um, so in that way, if I can't find it, like I can go hunting and actually try to find it in the wild. And then if not, then you always have pulse. To yeah, me, it feels no way. like it doesn't feel like it's living up to the term pulse premium. If we're not getting it early or in some way, specially, like, I feel like that should be like, if I'm going to pay for a service, I should get it a little bit early. Because, you know, if I'm paying for Amazon Prime, I also get my aluminum foil overnight, um, not just my Transformers. But if I'm paying for Pulse, it's literally so I get Transformers fast. So I feel like if I'm paying for the premium service, it would be nice to get them early. They ship it fast. People quickly forgotten that it, this is a Wave 1. True. So it's always going to be a bit weird with Wave 1. That's true. You know, my Studio Series stuff that I got at the beginning of January... I've not seen that anywhere else. I'm taking it back. I saw Bumblebee last night. I've not seen anybody else in the new waves. That's so true. If it's not a wave one, it looks like we're still getting everything pretty quickly and a lot of times before anybody else. But, I mean, that's the case with, like, every single, like, wave figure, whatever. Like, it pops up at different stores at different times because it's all based on, like, when they get their shipments from their distributors. Uh, distributors. So, like, you always have that where certain, you know, some stores will, you know, maybe Chosen Prime will get it first. And, you know, the next time maybe Target will get it first. Or maybe Walmart will get it first. So... Yeah. But, why Why is Bot Bot Series 5 shipping before Bot Bot Series 4 is even finished? Good question. Know. Randall also brings up the good point, Anna, that you have not actually paid for Pulse yet. It's true, it's so, true. Pulse so, is not yet a paid service. It's well, really a free service. It is, it is technically for those that didn't like order something like That's right true. away. So... Um, but yeah, but for, for those of us who are crazy that got in and immediately ordered stuff um, oh i got way too much into that like early pre-order game last year i hope saturday goes better this year for me and i don't just do everything yeah so pulse premium members actually get to order stuff before everybody else on on pulse on so, saturday F- fyi yep. so i hope uh-oh hello It'll be day of a thousand pre-orders. This is frozen. Yeah, me. I don't know. I don't know what happened for a second there. Somehow my internet freaked out. But you yeah, frozen. Put, put the anti-air missile batteries up here. Yeah, this is Sidetrack. He's even got sculpted cockpit right there. There you go. So, that's Sidetrack, which means they'll finish the battle patrol. Complete patrol coming in. Hmm. Sorry, I was just thinking of a way to make more body horror. I am done. We're good! I got nothing else. I got no more Easter eggs to show you. Yep, I don't think, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, we're not doing Ouch My Wallet. Oh, yeah, uh, we're not doing Ouch My Wallet this week. We'll wait until after, um... After the weekend, and we can all talk about how we ordered way too much stuff so uh Pulse premium can order early 1 30 or 4 30 on saturday yep i think uh i think we're gonna do a live show on sunday uh to talk about toy fair stuff so um so we will have that and uh cut the tape should be up on friday as well so but uh but yeah uh, we'll, we'll announce it on our Facebook page, uh, what we're going to do, but I think we're going to do a live show Sunday at one Eastern noon, uh, central to talk about toy fair. And then we will also have the Monday show. So. Yay. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you everyone in the chat for, uh, coming in and, and talking about uh, MicroMasters with us. So it was a lot of fun. And, Thanks. Yep. We'll see you next so, week. Yep. See you later. He's waving.